We're going to start with our floor plans. We should have one box here, one box here, a longer box here, a longer box here, and this is a uh, porch area. So we're going to push pull this area of 11 by four, 11 feet by four inches high. And then we're going to push pull all those up as well. Okay, everything except for the porch area. Then we're going to come and make a line about five foot three fourths high and make a two foot by five foot line across, draw it down. This is for the double doors. Two foot by five inches across. Draw it down. So we'll be able to insert our doors there. Okay. Then we're going to come around to the back, draw a line starting at the midpoint across, draw another one across. and draw another one across. Okay, we're gonna start at our midpoint here and connect right there. Push pull this cross. This is for your glass window area in the back. Okay, then we're gonna come to the back, to the middle point, draw a line up for your doors. If you don't have windows and doors, you can get them online on my Google uh, warehouse. You can download them for free. The door here that I'm using is five foot three fourths high and two by two foot by five inches across. There's windows and doors in my warehouse and other things you can download for free. So we got a, a door for front and back. Okay, it should look like this. Okay, now we're going to insert our doors, case door, insert, paste, insert, and paste in the back. Okay, voila, you have your doors. Okay, we're going to work on our windows now, some of the windows. This is the window that I'll be using. Okay. If you have a line there, delete it right now. Draw, draw a line across midsection. That's the center point. This is going to separate your garage door from your upstairs bedroom and draw a line here as well because this is the back area. Okay, now we're going to draw a line from center point down 10 inches. Let's see, let me see that again. Center point down. 10 inches down. And separate the windows. Okay. Midpoint on there. Okay. Then you draw a uh, 1 foot 6 inches line across. 1 foot 6 inches line across. And then for the length, it'll be 3 
foot seven inches high. That's three foot seven and a half inches and draw the line across. Complete on both sides. Next section down to ten inches. One six one foot six inches across or whatever your uh, window measurement's gonna be. But most windows for a uh, five foot eight inch house gonna be at least around no longer than uh, seven inches high because otherwise you're going to have a lot of room from, from the bottom to the top so it can be anywhere from like uh, three foot long to seven inches long then you come down to the midpoint draw a line up five three-fourths five foot three-fourths draw it to the mid edge over here to connect and to get ready to start your garage area I just draw the line because it stops you it helps you measure so you don't have to measure it again I usually don't put a, a a garage there I just open it up like it is a garage so you can put a uh, garage a car in the garage so it look like I need to separate that part so I can do that and if you don't have your floor already drawn in just go ahead and draw a line on there so it'll come on there and delete keep going Okay, then we're going to come on this side, draw window area, midpoint, start from the midpoint area, draw 10 inches down to separate the window, and 10 inches down, 1 uh, foot in 6 inches across, and 3 foot 7 in and a half inches down. One six, one foot six inches across, and same down here, and complete on top and bottom of this area. I'm trying to uh, get done before uh, 15 minutes. And make sure you have the correct measurements for your windows because otherwise it's not going to come out right. That one ain't right. And delete your line. Then you're going to finish making your windows at the bottom as well. The same measurements. One, whatever your measurements of your windows is, make sure you stay correct. Okay, you got your windows, now you can cut those out, paste in your windows, like we did our doorway. Wrong. So I 
Okay, make sure you delete your lines from the top areas of the windows or sofa where the windows area is. Okay, now you have your uh, front window thing. You have all your lines deleted. Come around to the back area. And we want to make windows on this side. That's the side where the garage is. I'm going to put windows right here. About the same way we did. 10 inches down. And then uh, mid margin, 10 inches down. 1 feet. Six inches across and three foot seven uh, and a half inches down. Same on both sides. Head section one foot six inches over. And three foot seven inches back and a half in inches down. If you need windows, I do have them in the in my warehouse. If you can download windows, doors, etc. Delete that and add your windows. Don't matter about them coming on the back side because you can paint to make them look right. And you delete your lines. Okay, then we're going to do the same for the bottom windows as well. Come down 10 inches. Make a uh, midpoint line down for both of your windows. One foot six inches across and three foot seven and a half inches down. Complete on both sides and insert your windows. I got some boxes there I'm ready to insert my windows now for the bottom area. Paste. Paste. And delete lines here. Unwanted lines. It's usually extra lines. So. Now you have your lines, your uh, windows for the back side. So it looks like this when you get that far along. I'm not sure if I'm, what I'm going to do with this side yet. So we we'll just keep going. Okay, for your top area, the color should be purple for the inside and purple on the bottom. So the floor faces on the inside. Just give you more lighting is all. Now we're going to try to attempt to make the roof. So draw a two inch line out. I'm not sure how much time I have. And draw it up to two inch line. So it'll be a two inch line by 